On the previous episode of Coastlines, we did the multi-species challenge. We caught a variety of reef fish behind Riding Rock Resort. Today, our goal is to catch Preston his first ever mud and snapper and explore the northern end of the island. I think we're day five, day six. I don't even know anymore. We kind of lost track of time here. So Preston was talking to Alan. Alan said on this side over here, I think this is Dump Reef, and this is the North, uh, north Point. In between here, there's a lot of muddins. So we're gonna give this a couple hours. We gotta see that. We'll see if we can do your first mud. Yeah, that's what we want to do. We need to come back here and do our COVID test, and then <laughs> we will fish for some bait here because we got we gotta do laundry in that today too. And then we'll we'll fish cut bait in the marina later today. See what we can catch. Maybe a Cubera. Yeah, that'd be sick. I called Jason yesterday and. The man hooked it up. We got, they opened the gas, the gas station for us, and we got fuel. So, yeah, it's huge. That is so big, It's a big yeah. victory. We can go anywhere we want on the island now. We got more than half a tank. It's beautiful. All right. Yep. Put the pen slammers on. A little, little revenge action today? Yeah. We upgraded our tackle here. We got our pen slammer. 2,500. I got the Black Bitch Platinum Rod. He's got the Black Bitch Split Grip Rod, 6 to 12 pound. Bonefish Foley was the one that taught me how to rig them like this. Yeah? That's what, how we did it, Tommy. We whacked the mud into the bonefish in uh, West End, dude, so. It looks good. It's, it's, it's it. been effective here, right? <laughs> Give it a shot, man. That's what he said to go. We could fish all that over there, too. This looks better right here, though. Looks really good. Looks really dangerous, too. Like, I would use a tighter drag. So Preston has not caught a mud and snapper yet. It's one of the fish that he has not caught and he really got a wants chaser, to catch one. Got a chaser, got a chaser. Right here, right here, right here, right here. I got a chaser right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a couple more casts here. I'm gonna- It's a puffer fish right here, bro. I'm onward. It's a box fish. Look at him, look at him, look at him. What the heck? Ah! Oh, we need Tommy. I'm, on, I'm moving onward, I think, dude. Here we go, here we go. Mud it on, mud it on. No way. Yep. Oh yeah. Right when I say that, dude. Mm. Good mutton? What is it? Oh, it's a big yellow jack. It's a yellow jack. Oh, dude. I think it's a yellow jack, bro. There's one following him. See that? That's a runner. Oh, bro. That's a giant. That's a giant, though. But well, that would have been Jeez. ideal for the kite, bro. Golly. Oh my gosh, dude. Did we keep that alive for the kite? We'll, we'll use him for cut bait anyway. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we'll keep him for cut bait. Dang, that's a. That's a big one, bro. That is like. One. That's the most perfect kite bait ever, right there, bro. Here. Whew. Pretty. If a Wahoo saw that dude, a 90, oh, he could yeah. be gone, dude. Why can't we catch these when we're kite fishing? It's a fun fighter, man. Just by this boat right here. I wanted to be a mud and hanging out. Here we go, good cast. Good cast. Here we go, fish on. That's a nice, wow. That is a nice tight bait. Oh my gosh, we'll use it for cut bait later. If I could find a bait like this, my gosh, from one of those kite fishing spots, consistently, it'd be, it'd be over. We would, if we put our time in, we would get a Wahoo, 100%. Let's keep going, bro. It's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, it is. I mean, we keep getting little obstacles thrown our way, like, like storms. Like rain, know. dude. Well, you know, I'm, I'm really shocked we did not find a mud in there, bro. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of fish there. I did some seriously risky casts on those pilings, like risking it all. And Nothing. just, no, I got the jacks. Yeah. Um, tide, tide's super low right now. It's yeah. Out. Tide is, is another huge factor that we're not really, because we don't know the area that well. I mean, that's that's like, one of the biggest things for the local knowledge is understanding where the fish move with the tides. You know, and we, we don't have that knowledge. We're just figuring it out as we go. Yeah. From the North Point docks, we headed west towards Dump Reef. This was a bit of a challenge. We had to figure out how to actually get to the water and to get there, we had to walk through some serious brush. This looks really good, bro. Look at this. Yeah, I like this. This looks really good. Just went through a jungle, bro, to get here. Yeah, straight up. So in between these gaps, that's where the mud ends would be, bro. Got two frigate birds over there. There we go, fish on. What you got? Another jack. 
I'm gonna keep him for cut bait right here. Oh no! Put him over here. Will they there we dive? go. Another jack. Big one, bro. Wow. Great cut bait. These things are everywhere, dude. Keep him. We forgot to bring our bucket, bro. Dang it. Got one? Fish on. Cut bait. Same one. That's a yellow jack, bro. Yellow jack? That's a yellow jack. You got yellow eyes. I don't know what that is, though. It looks like a different species of blue. That's no, a yellow jack, bro. Is it? I think so. Very good eating. Fish hey. on! Mudden! That's a mudden, bro! That's a mudden, dude! That's him, bro! That's him, Preston! Oh my gosh, you got him? Yeah, he's on. Is he in the rock? Yes, I see him right here. Hold on, I'm coming down. I'm coming to help you. Don't in. rush it. It's a, oh, bro, it's a gigantic schoolmaster, bro. That is gigantic. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on, don't lose him, don't lose him. That's the biggest schoolmaster I've ever seen. That is a big Dude, that might be a world record, bro. Oh my god. Dude, that is ridiculous, dude. Oh my gosh. That is a big schoolmaster. Woo! Dude, that's a beast, bro. It's a monster, that's, dude. That's a big schoolmaster. That's the biggest schoolmaster I've ever seen. You want to hold him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant, bro. You can tell, man. Look at his teeth. That's unbelievably big, bro. Heck I've yeah, never, man. I never, I didn't know they got that big. I didn't either. You got him, dude. Dude, you caught two really good eating fish, bro. Yellow Jack and Gigantic Schoolmaster. I I've never had Yellow Jack. Oh, they're so good, dude. Delicious. Unfortunately, we ran out of time. I really, really, really like this spot. There's a lot of fish here. I want to come back. There's a lot of trigger fish right here, so I think we come here with cut bait, whack triggers. And I noticed down there by that flat, there's some really interesting stuff going on down there, and I want to fish that. So we'll be back here. But we got to go get our COVID stuff now, so let's go. So we headed back to Riding Rock Resort. After getting our COVID test, it started raining, and it did not look like it was going to stop. So we ditched our cinema cameras, grabbed our GoPros, and headed to the marina. So after getting our COVID test, I mean, all test negative, by the way, we uh, had a problem with the weather. As you can tell, it's, it's pouring rain now. So we had to take off the, uh, the main cams and switch to GoPro. So we need, uh, we're gonna fillet our fish right now that we caught. Unfortunately, the schoolmaster is not a world record. Unfortunately, it was no. way bigger. <laughs> <laughs> this is the biggest one I've ever seen. It could have been the second. Yeah. They don't do the second. Yeah. I don't think so. Uh, it, was, it wasn't even close. No. <laughs> Dude, uh, 13 pounds, four ounces was the world record I think yeah, it was. Yeah. That's like ridiculous. But I've never caught a schoolmaster, so. I think it was a giant, bro. We're gonna eat them for dinner, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah, excited. Okay. We got our Dextreme knives, and we're gonna show you guys how these things work today. They're, they're gonna work really well on the uh, schoolmaster. You know what's crazy, Preston, if you tie too many of these, like I tie, I sat there for like hours and hours once tying it, I developed tendonitis, dude. Yeah. This, these things. I don't ever tie this thick, but I can imagine if you do that. I was tying number 19 like over and over and over <laughs> and over and over and over. And over. Yeah. We usually make up a hundred rigs for the season. Yeah. Stinger rigs, king rigs. Yeah. And just get it out of the way. Yeah. And now put them in a styrofoam box, a cooler. Really? Just line the whole inside of the cooler with them so they stay nice. We got our, we're gonna be using our, our Pen Torque 40s right here. Got the silver ones, two speed. These things are uh, brutes. They got 40 pounds of drag, which is plenty. I don't think anything here is gonna break us off. What do you think? No, I don't think so. Unless there's something really, really big in this marina that we have not seen yet. Yeah, it is, it is San Salvador. This is Jurassic Park. For right now, what we're fishing for is literally whatever bites. I mean, we're putting wire on because we know there's toothy critters down there, there's cuberos, or sharks. But we're gonna we're gonna start off with this and see, and we're gonna go we're gonna go backwards. But we're gonna start off heavy. I don't want to lose a good fish because we're not ready for it. Water's it's dirty. It's milky. It's milky, which is gonna be really good for us with 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 our leader material situation. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, and uh, that's all from that gravel right there. Let's let's throw our baits in quietly, so yeah. we don't attract yeah, sharks. Yeah, yeah. That'd be that'd be, that'd be that'd be ideal. We did see a shark here the other day, so we, we don't did. we don't want to. Preston, mess you want to give me a hand with the cooler? Yeah. Yeah. Got it? Yep. What's this? So I'm gonna show everyone right now the school we're gonna float the schoolmaster. Oh dude, we do we have zip locks, bro? You wanna just put the meat back in the Yeah, uh, we can put it back back in there. Back in there? Yeah. Ah, that's a giant bro. 
I can't, I, can you imagine what a 13 pounder looks like? He's, he's ice cold. This is the new Dextream knife and it has a serrated top up here, right? So this is really cool. This is for starting your fillet. So instead of dulling your knife, you, you come up here with it serrated, you punch in, and you start your fillet so you don't dull your, Thanks, sir. your blade. Yeah. The sword, you brought the sword out. I brought the sword out, dude. Same punch in, this side. I do love the flexibility of this knife, it's awesome. Dude, a Cubera would smoke this, It bro. would smoke that, I think. You, 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 do you want to use this one? Yeah, yeah. All right, this one's yours. All right. Through the bottom jaw, up through the top jaw. All right, dude, so let's just lower them real, real quietly here, nice and gently. Dude, you know what I find interesting? With how close the, the edge is here, anything can come in from there, bro. Yeah. Big groupers, big yeah. blacks, They're big in NASA's. They're definitely in here. They have to, big, big Cuberas. Oh, no. No, 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 I'm looking for a Cubera. A big Cubera will come up and feed with the sharks, dude. Yeah, They're not same, same as a uh, Goliath. Did yeah. Goliath come over here? No. Oh, he's got it. He 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 got it. Got it. Dude, what do you got? What do we got? What is that? Oh my gosh, dude, it's going really fast. It's going really fast. Really fast. He's trying to swim out. Dude, dude, it's taking me. Oh my oh, gosh. What is oh that? my gosh, dude, it's gonna spool me, bro. I don't know. No way. No, no he's, he's not. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's trying to take me out. Bro, what was that, dude? So as you guys can see right here, there is a. A serious shark problem. We got like four nurse sharks right here. There's some random lemon sharks coming around. I d if I can get the bait to the bottom through the sharks, I think we got a good chance. But we got to get through these things. That'll work. That'll work, yeah. Let's see what happens. Uh oh, I'm getting a bite. I'm getting a bite. I'm getting a bite, dude. I got, I got, I got something. I got something. I got something. Is he on? Is he on? He's on. What is that? He's coming toward us, bro. What is it? What is that? Dude, he's going really fast now, bro. Look at this. 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 <laughs> he's going after He's going to the braid, dude. He's going to the braid. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's still going, dude. He's still going. Bro. Dude, this is a giant fish, bro. <laughs> what the heck is going on here, bro? He's trying to take me out to the ocean. <laughs> so far out. Oh my gosh, it's a shark, dude. Dad gum it. You guys don't remember Preston. <laughs> Saw the Goliath Hoover from the, from the dock. That was Preston. Hold it on to me when we had Max drag, trying not to get broke off. <laughs> That's a big reef shark, dude. What is cool is this my first ever land-based reef shark. That is that is really cool. And very few people get them from shore because they're usually out on the on the reefs. Right. Come right to me. Come right to me. Look at this reef shark right here. That is a big reef shark. Oh my gosh. We're gonna get the hook out and let it go. Ah, here we go. Release. Yeah. Woo! Dude. That shark <laughs> works me, bro. We're not gonna get, we're not gonna get a bear here with all these sharks, bro. No, there's no, there's way. no way. I don't care if there was a 120 pounder right there, bro. It's, it's too not many gonna sharks. Happen. They're eating, they're eating like they haven't eaten in a week. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet here, bro, yeah. but there's no one fishing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, what a crazy day. Started off, uh, Preston caught his first giant schoolmaster. I got my first land-based uh, reef shark. Reef shark. So out of Preston can't even think. What a great day, guys, here in San Salvador. Make sure you guys go and check out Crocs, Riding Rock Resort. Links are in the description, guys. And also, don't forget to check out our new Black Debate merch at blacktobage.com. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you soon. It's a pelagic, bro. He's running, he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running. He's staying on top of the water, he's staying on top of the water. This is, oh, this could be the wahoo. This could be it. It's a big fish, bro. You can feel him.